Welcome to my CMM project. My CMM project involved planning, recording and mixing two songs. My vision of the first song, Identity Fraud, was to shed light on the importance of cultural identity. The recent Russo-Ukrainian war has allowed deep reflection on our own society and where our cultural values are derived. The vision of the second song, Broken Record, surrounds building firm foundations within one's family, with the notions of family and cultural identity holding substantial weight to one's personal health and well-being. Although this music was presented live, the intention is for these songs to be released in a mixed and balanced manner. The contributors involved, excluding myself, were two fellow IB students. My role was to compose a drum part, as a drummer myself, lead the lyrical and chord choices, and record and mix all parts of both songs. The guitarist and vocalist role was to play the guitar, bass, and sing a vocal part, as well as aid with the lyrical and chord choices, whilst the pianist's role was to take the chord structure in place and manoeuvre it in a pianistic manner. The message of identity fraud ponders upon the difficulties of finding one's identity, as referenced in the title. At first, the line chasing after dreams, the frames that capture my identity, provide a sign of hope, yet the reality is often overwhelming, with the chorus lyric, walk through the shame they give to you. As a third culture kid, it is often difficult being judged with a bias for the winning team, as mentioned in the song. In this case, the bias is towards the locals of the country I reside in. The song emphasizes how living overseas can disrupt one's sense of identity. The message of Broken Record bears another personal theme throughout in the form of family. Family can sometimes be taken for granted, and we tend to throw it all away, as mentioned in the song. Extended the rest of my life, though, refers to my family's pursuit of helping my life be as full, as extent full and extensive as possible. As a whole, this song is an opportunity to realize my mistakes in the underappreciation of my family. For identity fraud, my main source of inspiration was My Chemical Romance's Summertime, where an identical chord progression is played with an upbeat, lively feel that I sought to render in my own work. For Broken Record, the main song I took inspiration from was Coldplay's The Scientist, which helped me understand the tone and mood a piano-driven song can bring. Both the chordal and sectional structure of identity fraud is simplistic in nature, as I wanted to make the music more accessible to a wider audience, with the lyrical content being rather philosophical and niche. The drum beat's role was to punctuate the strong beats and drive the song forward. There was, a, there was an underlying quaver pulse from the guitar riff and bass, which propelled the song with a positive upbeat force. I wanted to bridge to end the song as this would diversify the pop nature of the song as well, and end, as well as end powerfully and hit the message home. Within the bridge, the switch to a half-time beat was to generate greater power as the vocals entered with a higher register to, to heighten again the emotional impact of the message being delivered. Overall, the instrumentation converted the power of the lyrics into the sound, with a message of hope and understanding for those in similar identity battles. The structure of Broken Record is fundamentally similar to that of identity fraud for similar reasons, to attract a wider audience from an irregular yet necessary message. The tempo was significantly slower and solemn to match the lyrical input. The song is led by the piano, and with the accompaniment of strings in the early stages of the song, I felt that the timbre of the piano was the best medium to express such deep emotion. The drum part is used as an elevator of intensity as it enters in the second verse and builds the song to its climax, the bridge, with a gradual increase in the use of symbols of progressively denser sound qualities. In both songs, the musical structure was familiar, yet different in the ways the structure was presented. Broken Record built up from a pensive introduction to a soulful climax, a contrast to identity fraud, which has a rather hopeful and steady disposition. I began the writing process in mid-September 2022 and finished recording in January 2023. I then spent two months learning how to mix a song properly as I finalised the project in March of 2023. We performed these songs twice in school assemblies. Throughout this process, many musical highlights transpired. In Broken Record specifically, the continual chord progression is D minor, B flat major, F major and A major. The F major chord is unique, as a usual progression would likely feature G minor, the chord 4, rather than F major, the relative major. This parallels the ideas of imperfection and ambiguity, as family can be imperfect and unpredictable. I enjoyed making musical decisions as a metaphor for the message of the songs. Another highlight was the mixing process in Ableton. I have always been interested in the methods in which high quality sounds are produced, and so this project allowed me to specialise in this craft and elevate my understanding of music production as a whole via YouTube tutorials and website readings. Specifically, using EQs, compressors, gates and reverb allowed the song to feel especially full and well blended. 
In identity fraud, the kick drum is mixed to accentuate the bass and diminish the mid frequencies to generate a greater punch and drive the motion of the song forward. Finally, the contrast between the two songs was a highlight as I was able to experiment with an identical song structure yet use it to opposite effects. Identity fraud was a consistently upbeat song without dips in the dynamic levels, with emphasis on hope and standing against an issue together. Broken Record was crafted as a song that built up from the start to the end. This was to increase the emotional capacity and its reflective nature. I enjoyed experimenting with the idea that themes of identity and family could be hopeful or reflective in how the same musical structure was manipulated. These musical decisions were difficult to make with my inexperience in this area of music. However, I have become far more well-rounded in using music technology to express myself. There were also challenges faced. It was difficult writing instruments that were unfamiliar to me. With the chordal foundations in place, both songs' instrumentation was key in evoking the emotion that was aimed at being delivered. I knew that piano would be the best instrument to begin Broken Record, with its affiliation with sorrowful music. However, the composition of the chords and rhythm in which it was played was challenging as a non-piano player. I therefore had to work with the pianist to develop a chord structure that suited my version of the song and also converged with his playing style on the piano. Another challenge was writing the lyrics. I enjoy writing, however I found that in the creation of a rhyme, a very narrow span of word choices is often presented, and so conveying my message and upholding a basic rhyming scheme throughout both songs was met with an accumulation of trial and error approaches until I landed on a lyric I was satisfied with. I felt as though rhyming was important to connect to the audience on a deeper level, treating it like poetry. Even with the help of the vocalist and his prolific writing ability, it was difficult to construct meaning amidst a small pool of words. Through this, however, I expanded my vocabulary and broadened my understanding of the ratios of the lyrical delivery speed relative to the song tempo in a way which lyrics can ideally flow and be understood. If I had more time, I would have increased the scope of the ideas presented. I discussed identity, the self, as well as family, the surroundings. If I was to take this further, themes of nationalism could have been explored to carry on the gradual increase in the scope of context explored. There were certainly successful elements to this project. I was able to write, record and mix two songs with different messages conveyed in a musically cohesive manner. Further, I collaborated effectively with fellow IB students to deepen my understanding of lyrical writing, a gradual increase in intensity, and constructing parts for unfamiliar instruments. With my original aim of conveying messages of identity and family, I feel as though I have done this with enjoyment and satisfaction. This project enabled me to extend my musical capabilities beyond the classroom or concert hall and to understand the processes of writing meaningful music for the masses. Thank you. Friend, it is to me all the 
trust God in a blink. He's not answering Is this my destiny? What will shame they give to you? No one will ever know the truth. What I've done, not what I'll do. I pray the name, find a secret to Song for me. 